Yo guys, what's good? We're back with another video. This one is actually a different style compared to usual because it's more just on the spot, not really planned anything. I'm just going to be speaking off the top of my head basically. So this morning I was in an orthodontics class and basically I was doing a practical... Uh, let me show you the kind of things I was doing. Yeah, so I was doing this weird x-ray stuff. It's called cephalometrics. It's like working out angles of different things like mandibular maxillary relations and I'm not actually too competent with it so basically I went to go ask my professor for some help uh, just on a certain part like how to draw an incisor or something like that and then I noticed that he held he held my sheet up and then he told me yeah you need these two triangular rulers so I went back to my desk to go get them and just as I was about to get to my desk I turned around and I saw he lifted my paper and showed it to the other like a female teacher and laughed. So I was like, okay, gosh, what's going on here? And then as I was walking back towards him, he quickly put my paper down as if I didn't notice. So obviously that was a bit funny already, like a professor is laughing at my work to one of my other teachers. So, so yeah, that was a bit weird to me. And then there was another student in my class waiting. See, I'm not mentioning any names here, of course. There was another student in my class waiting to ask this professor for some help. So then, you know, as I was asking for the help on my stuff, he was like, well, yeah, there are a lot of mistakes here. I was like, oh, okay, yeah, can you tell me the mistakes, please? So like, that was already a shock to me. It didn't sound too good the way he said it but, I was, but obviously I'm always willing to learn from my mistakes to get better you know so I was like oh yeah what are the mistakes so I can improve and then he was like firstly why does your incisor look like a banana I was like damn really and like the whole time there's one of my classmates listening and I don't even know her too well so it was just already embarrassing and then he's like why is your anterior nasal spine there literally like four different things you know the thing that I said about the incisor looking like a banana like four other violations like that so obviously this was just embarrassing in front of my classmate to be honest and for myself um, and just the way that the, it wasn't really constructive criticism to be honest because I wasn't like I wasn't really being helped too much I was just having the criticism without the constructiveness without where to improve and then he was like yeah you know if you hand this in in the exam in two weeks then I can tell you it's not gonna be looking too good so I'm the kind of person you know I just kind of just cruise through the classes but then because I know I don't really learn in class listening from a teacher I need to just digest the information myself with my own time and memorize it myself I don't really pay too much attention in classes to be honest like I just start one month two months before the exams and just start killing it at home so then at the end he told me get another tracing paper and start again even though I'd already this was like 45 minutes into the lesson so I just had like an hour just over an hour left so now I had to do two hours worth of work in one hour and this honestly just motivated me because I wanted to prove him wrong. So this just motivated me. So I was just in work mode, just banging it out straight after trying to catch up with everyone else. And then for the next 30 minutes, I was kind of a little bit frustrated with how this criticism was given to me and that it was embarrassing and things like that. And I just don't think it was, I don't think the criticism was delivered to me in the best way. But then after that, like I was in the next class with the teacher. So I had the practical class for two hours and then I had a theory class for two hours. And I was just thinking, there's two ways that I can go about this. Either I can just focus on being mad at the teacher and how, you know, he was making jokes about my work to another teacher which isn't too professional and the way that he was like making these violations in front of my classmate or on the other hand I can take it as motivation and this can fuel me because you can be fueled by anger and this can fuel me so that I become one of the best students at this uh, certain topic cephalometrics and then in the exam that's in two weeks I can get one of the best grades in the class and yeah then his reaction would be completely different I don't think he would have the same impression of me that he currently does so my plan for this is there's a class next thursday on the same thing and then the thursday after will be the exam for this i want to like master this subject cephalometrics until the next class and then i can just come in in the next class and ask me a question but it's like going to be a high level question like something that would get me from like a 9 to a 10 because I want the last I want his last impression of me to be a top performing student not one of the people at the bottom which he's going to be ready to give a bad grade because he just has he just assumes that I'm a I'm a student worth having a bad grade so I want to correct that and be on the other end of the scale by the time of the next class and then I want to completely smash out the exam which is in two weeks from now so in conclusion I had a decision to make I could either be the first option which is get mad, make excuses, blame. That's the key word, blaming someone else, blaming the teacher. Why did he criticize me like this? Why was he trying to embarrass me? Or I can actually take accountability. He has got a point because he has got a point. I was unprepared. It's my fault for not studying at home after each class and being up to date with what's going on. So no matter how the information was delivered to me, he's got a point at the end of the day, he's 70% correct. It was my fault that I wasn't up to date and he caught me out on it. My knowledge wasn't there. And now that's, that's a signal to me that I need to rectify this and move on. So that's what I'm going to do guys, and I just wanted to share that with you, because there's two different mindsets, the first one and the second one, and you need to make sure that you have the second one. Peace.